everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope that wherever you are on the planet, you are having a beautiful day. I'm having a gorgeous day here in North Texas. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a three card oracle card reading, and I'm gonna give you some instructions and tell you what to do, and then I'm gonna give you some messages directly from spirit that apply to you. But before I do, I just want to thank all of my followers and subscribers and the community that we are building here on YouTube. I love you so very much. I also wanna thank those of you who help to keep me doing what I do here in YouTube and also on Facebook and all over the place via Patreon. Um, you, even a, a dollar a month helps me to provide content, the majority of which is free of a spiritual and enlightening nature. And if you'd like to help me to do that, all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash crystal and Compton. Don't forget the E in Anne. That's patreon.com slash crystal and Compton. It also helps to keep ads off of these videos. I don't know about you, but I'm not about the ads, man. And so I don't want to do that to you. And so I've removed them. And instead I've just, I use Patreon. So if you want to support me, I would truly appreciate it. And thank you everybody, no matter who you are or where you you are, I send you nothing but love and blessings. Now, let's get into today's three card oracle card reading. Again, I am using, okay, let's not pretend that I'm not wearing this beautiful necklace. I think I have to show it to you. I show it to you every time. Why would today be any different? This is one of the crystals that I am presently working with. This crystal will at some point be featured on my presently being constructed website called crystalsbycrystal.com. This is an aura quartz crystal and I work with them. I divine their attributes and characteristics and sometimes messages from them. I usually get their names and then what I do is I rehome them. I make them available for the exact right person who is supposed to be with this crystal and love this crystal. I have to tell you it's hard. I've got about 30 crystals right now and I work with them for quite some time. I actually put a lot of energy and intention into the work that I do, and it's hard for me to rehome them. I used to foster St. Bernard's and Newfoundland dogs, and it was very hard for me to let those guys go too, but these crystals belong with the people who will bond with them and work with them and who will love them forever. So crystalsbycrystal.com. I'm going to be making these available relatively shortly. If you go there and the site is not live, don't blame me, blame my husband, but it will be live shortly. And these crystals couldn't be much more gorgeous than this. Oh my God. All right, enough about the crystal. Let's get into the three card oracle card reading. Yes, three card oracle card reading. Today we are actually doing our reading out of a beautiful deck called the Akashic Tarot. This deck was recommended to me by my partner and very good friend, Amber Poole, also known as the Chakra Diva. You can find her at thechakradiva.com. She's fabulous. She's also a moderator and a teacher in the Lightworkers Lab, but she recommended this deck to me. I got it and I love it. And so Spirit and I have both selected three cards from the Akashic Tarot that we are now going to present to you. And here's what you're going to do. You are going to see which card resonates the most with you. Now, what does resonate mean? That's usually a vibratory term, and it means which card causes a vibration in you or causes an uptick of, uh, of energy within you. In terms of intuition and psychic ability, which card lets you know through your psychic receivers that it's the card for you? Your psychic abilities are your clairvoyance, which is to see into the world of spirit. Clairaudience, which is to hear in the world of spirit. Clairsentience, which is to feel in the body in the world of spirit. And also claircognizance, which is to know in the world of spirit. And these are the typical ways that spirit will get you a message or let you know, hey, that's your card. But of course, spirit is very surprising and God is new every morning. Just pay attention to how spirit likes to talk to you. And anything that happens, any sort of quickening, any rush of energy, when I show a card, that's your indication that that's the card for you because attached to each card is a message. Now, I just want to say, as I usually say, it doesn't matter when you watch this video. The messages transcend time and space and 3D reality. The messages reach 
the person when the person needs the message. So you could be watching this 5, 20, 50, 100 years from now. Wouldn't it be cool if people were watching my videos 100 years from now? That would be really cool. But it doesn't matter because if you need the message, you're going to be given the message now. So just trust that. And again, pay attention to how you receive the prompting. All right, I'm gonna start by showing you each card and give you a few moments to connect in and see whether it resonates for you. We're starting with card number one. Card number one. Again, paying attention to how spirit gives you messages. Paying attention to that vibration and to that resonance. Card number one. Are you feeling anything? Maybe you see something in your mind's eye, like a check mark or a yes. Card number one. All right, moving on. Let's go to card number two. Card number two. How does this feel for you? You getting anything on this card? Card number two. Maybe you feel something. Maybe something has shifted in you. I often get electrical rushes on my scalp and the back of my neck. Like my scalp kind of constricts when spirit is moving and giving me a message. Card number two. Moving on, we go to card number three. Card number three, what a beautiful, intricate pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? How do you feel about this card? Maybe something is coming in through your inner voice. This is clear audience. Often when spirit talks to us through clear audience, it's in the sound of our own voice, our own thoughts. But there's a different quality to clear audience, a different vibration. There's kind of a weight to clear audience transmissions. Card number three. Are you resonating or vibrating with this card? All right. As I always do, I'm going to run through them again very quickly. Just show you one last time. Card number one, everybody. Card number two, check it out. And card number three. There you go. All right. Now, before revealing the messages attached to each card, what I'd like you to do is trust the process. Trust that what you received is real. Trust that you can trust the messages that spirit gives you. And you can. Don't wait to see the messages and then pick a card. That's really not how it works. It's really about letting spirit talk to you and then allowing that message to speak to you in the way that it wants to. And even if it doesn't make sense necessarily, when you hear it, that's okay. Let it sink in because tomorrow or the next day or next week, it might make a lot of sense and you'll come back to it and say, aha, now I get it, spirit. I get what you were saying to me. So drop down in the comments and let me know what number came through for you, what card you resonated with the most. And also, if you'd like, tell me how you got it. Did you see something? Did you feel it? Did you hear it? Did you know it? How did it come through? All right, comment, comment, comment. And now for the reveal. For those of you who resonated and vibed with card number one, you selected the divine physician. The divine physician. The divine physician stands before a well. I don't know if you can see it very well. Carrying a jug of healing water and sharing his light of healing with those nearby. Upon his robe is the emblem of medicine and healing. The divine physician made the mortally wounded rise again through his incantations of sacred words. This powerful, eternal healing spirit walks with you at this time. This card indicates that you are moving into a time of magnificent healing on many levels. There's a person 
who can be a great healer for you, as well as a teacher who shares healing gifts that you can pass on to others. If you don't know this person yet, keep your eyes open. He or she is coming. You may also find yourself being called to help others at this time. Remember that word and thought, belief and feeling are key components in healing the self and in teaching others to heal as well. They're important tools in the divine physician's medical bag, so make sure they are part of yours too and know that the light of healing shines around you and through you. Such a radiant joy can bring well-being to all. Card number one, the divine physician. Love the message of that. Powerful. Moving on, we go to card number two, which is Uriel and the Sphinx. For those of you who don't know, Uriel is an archangel. Uriel and the Sphinx. The archangel Uriel stands before the Sphinx under a full moon. The Sphinx is usually shown with the body of a lion indicating strength and the head of a king showing authority and intelligence. But more than this, the Sphinx represents the enigmatic and the inscrutable, the silent holder of truth and the ancient mysteries of the world. Here, the Archangel Uriel connects and confers with this great source of mystery. This card shows that it's time for you now to do the most important and possibly the most difficult work of your life. The digging and the inner discovery that takes you to your deepest self and to your deepest power. Even the great sphinx had to be dug out many times before the blowing desert sands that buried it up to its neck. And you must dig diligently too. You may have to chip away at the rock-like substance of your old beliefs and history so that you can get to the truth inside. But don't worry. You've begun already and you've made considerable inroads. There's also someone here to help you. Archangel Uriel, whose name means Fire of God. You can work directly in your meditations with this Archangel for self-understanding, transformation, and for guidance. Also, be on the lookout for someone in your daily life whom Uriel has sent to you. This could be a teacher, a mentor, or even a new friend who shares a kinship with you about this inner quest. It is a relationship of great value that comes in a time of profound power in your life, and that time is now. And so don't diminish the importance of this phase. It is this work that leads you to your initiation and to your higher power. Card number two, Uriel and the Sphinx. Again, a powerful and beautiful message. Last, but never, not ever, not ever least, is card number three. For those of you who chose card number three, you chose one of forces, the Akashic field. Look at those beautiful colors, the northern lights. The Akashic field. Like the Akashic field, the aurora borealis flows with energy and brilliance as charged particles from the sun interact with atoms in the earth's atmosphere. The 93 million miles from the sun to the earth is nothing compared to the limitless consciousness of the Akashic field. All information, power, energy and experiences vibrate within this realm of unending truth and possibility and every bit of it can be yours. Receiving this card tells you that amazing opportunities abound at this time. You can increase and accelerate the experience by opening the doors of the Akashic records. Your life force energy resonates with universal synchronicity now, so you can explore the records and receive exactly the information that you need and the energy that can help. Engage in this pursuit with a conscious focus. Write your intentions and ask spirit for inspiration. 
Meditate on the Akashic field and visualize your goals. The universe is ready and willing to align with your heartfelt desires. And now is the time to make them happen. Yes! And the church said, Amen. Now is the time to make it happen. Perfect. Card number three, the Akashic field. By the way, I have a really good friend and partner in the Lightworkers Lab named Lauren Antofermo. She has a website. It's soulfultransformations.com, soulfultransformations.com, and she gives the most powerful, life-shifting Akashic Records readings ever. And so if you're looking for something like that and you want to know more about the records, you want to get into your own records, you should go to Lauren Antofermo at soulfultransformations.com and just check her out. I mean... I don't get anything for mentioning you to her. I'm just trying to pass on a blessing because that's what that girl is. She's powerful. There you have it. Your three card oracle card reading straight out of the Akashic Tarot. These oracle cards and the guidebook are by Sharon and Klingler and Sandra and Taylor. And the artwork's lovely. The messages are also beautiful. And I hope the three messages that we shared today have been a blessing to you and have shown a light or shined a light, which is it? Shined a light on your purpose, your path, your now, and where you are presently and where you are going. And on that note, I wish you nothing, and I do mean nothing, but love. Because I got nothing but love for you, baby. 